All right, so in the last video, we, we introduced the idea of a series as this limit of a sequence of partial sums for some pre-existing sequence, right? So if that limit exists, we say that the sequence conver or the series converges. Uh, if it doesn't exist, we say the series diverges. Uh, so here are two series that we want to show diverge. So how do we do it? Well, um, we can start thinking about what, what do the partial sums look like, right? Um, so in this case here, we have S1. We can even start at 0, right? S0 is 0 squared, 0. S1 is 0 squared plus 1 squared, which is 1. S2 is 0 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared is 5. S3, 0 squared, 1 squared, oops, 2 squared, 3 squared is 14, and so on. And it certainly seems like those partial sums are going to keep growing and growing and growing. Um, well, in general, uh, we know that SK is the sum, you know, let's say uh, n going from 1 to k. Uh, might as well start at 1, right? Starting at 0, we're adding 0. We don't gain anything from that. Um, n going from 1 to k of, of n squared. Oh, we've seen that before. Uh, way back when we were doing like Riemann sums, right? We saw this summation formula. Maybe we did it with i instead. We get something like k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. And so certainly we can see from this that if we take the limit as k goes to infinity of, of sk, well, that limit is going to be infinite, right? Um, this thing grows more or less as k cubed. Okay, so certainly the limit uh, doesn't exist, so the series diverges. All right, how about this one here? Well, let's start writing out, you know, what is, what is, what is the sequence look like, right? So Bn looks like, well, if n is equal to 1, this is minus 1 squared, so 1, and it's going to be minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, Right? Forever. Okay, so from there, well, what does Sn look like? Well, we just do 1, and then 1 minus 1, we get to 0. 1 minus 1 plus 1, 1. 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, 0. And I think by now you can probably guess the pattern. We get something that looks like that. Okay, so no fancy formula this time. We just look at this and say, well, look, uh, we have a sequence which just alternates between 0 and 1. We want the limit of that sequence. Well, that limit certainly does not exist, right? The limit as n goes to infinity of Sn does not exist. So the series diverges.